It's Wednesday. That's when they test the tornado sirens around here. That one's like 300 feet that way. You guys remember when I made an engorged tick lure? Do I have it? It's right there. That's an engorged tick. I made this so long ago. It's held up so well. I used 30 minute epoxy as clear coat back then. Flashy legs in there. An engorged tick. Head lice don't really engorge themselves. And I'm thinking it'll be perfect for an open pour that I can layer some red into, some, some head lice colors, you know? I think I'm gonna chop the head off of the head lice though. And that's just gonna be jig. And this weird, gnarly body is what we are making. Let's serve up some fun facts. Head lice are wingless insects that spend most of their time on a human scalp, feeding excessively on human blood. They suck it out of your head while living in your hair. Specialized only to humans. Chimpanzees have a different one. They got short, stumpy little legs. I think that's why I chose this. And it's gonna be nice to open for. So there's a non-disease carrying head louse, and there's a, there's a disease carrying body louse. Stay away from the body louse. The head lice only lay eggs and attach to your hair instead of clothing, ew. Body lice live in clothing. The two subspecies are morphologically almost identical, but do not normally interbreed. So you gotta wear like the same clothes for a long time. You get lice living in them. You get body lice and get diseases from body lice. I'm just making a head louse. Not gross at all. <laughs> Males are slightly smaller than the females. The females are kind of just like this glob of like broken arms and bleh. And the males are like this little armored go-getting thing. Look it, we got a female right there and a well put together, suited up male right there. Weird. Female head lice lay about three or four eggs per day. The eggs are attached near the base of a host hair shaft. It says in tropical warm climates, eggs may be laid six inches down or more from the base of the hair shaft. So if you have long hair, they can lay them six inches down the shaft. Wow. The adult female secretes a glue from her reproductive organ. The glue quickly hardens and it's a knit stitch. <laughs> Excuse me, a knit sheath. A knit stitch. It will cover the hair's shaft and large parts of the egg except the operculum. Operculum. It's like a little cap through which the embryo breathes. They'll lay three or four eggs a day and it takes six to nine days to hatch. If you've ever had head lice, I'm sorry. I hope to never have a single head louse on my head. I, I never have. Here's a nice drawing of a nasty head louse crawling out of its sack, its egg sack. So they molt three times. From what they're able to study, nymph mortality while in captivity is 38%. They got a pretty low survival rate. They come across numerous hazards though, the nymphs. Failure to completely hatch from the egg. Death during molting. They'll just die while they molt sometimes. While they're feeding, their gut can rupture and that disperses the host's blood throughout the insect's body and then they die because their gut ruptures. Takes a day or two to die from that. You'd think they'd die because you like itched and you just like smashed them too. Right? Maybe they can flatten out. I don't know. I just added something there. Don't even take it. Leave it there. So depending on the number of children in your family and the sharing of beds and closets, hair washing habits, amount of other children your kids are in contact with, the local customs and social connections and healthcare in a particular area, and oh my goodness, they give a lot of different factors on whether or not you're more likely to have head lice, but you know, just girls are two to four times more likely to have head lice than boys just because they have longer hair. So if you got hair, keep it clean. And by clean, I just mean away from, like keep it away from head lice. Don't get head lice if you got hair. Just maintain some consistent hair washing habits and you should be fine. All the stages of nymphhood and adulthood, these things are eating your blood to live. Four to five times a day. First, they put their spit in you. You won't feel them put their little mouth needle thing in you because of the spit and then they can suck your blood. The digested blood is excreted as dark red frass. F-R-A-S-S. -S. That's just, uh, refers to like the more or less kind of solid stuff that comes out of an insect. Frass, pasty stuff from an insect. Although any part of the scalp can be colonized by head lice. They favor the nape of the neck. The nape of the neck, I've never even heard that, but I kind of know what it means. And the area behind the ears, that's where the eggs are usually laid. They don't have powerful legs for jumping or any ability to fly off of another human's head and land on an. I know, like you have to share a hat, rub hair together, go like this, 
touch somebody else's head. Six, 12 million people, mainly children, are treated annually for the head lice. There's probably a lot more that aren't treated. By the way, I completely left crab louse out of the picture. We're not gonna get into that, and you're welcome. Even though it's like the third type of louse. Before I go any further with that, fun facts are over. We got chip hair in the silicone. It's gonna be a good mold. It's definitely all that we need. My vacuum pump broke. I have a new one coming in the mail. I think it'll be here today, but too late regardless. We're not gonna be able to vacuum this. Wow, that looks gorgeous. There's no flashing. That would be difficult to improve upon. Our little head lice dude is A-OK -okay too. We can make more molds if necessary. Let's see how it pours. I've heated up every fisherman's favorite color. We're gonna clear out this mold. Need to get all of the ucky out of it. Oh wow. Oh whoops, did I spill over a little bit? It didn't matter, I just needed to get it all everywhere. Peel this out, it's gonna be all bubbly. Then we can get to pouring. Sorry, I'm weird. I just wanted to see if that would work. And it kinda seems like it did. This, that makes me wanna clean this off and use it. Looks like I've made a mess of things. I'd say that worked. We got some foggy surface bubbling because it was the first casting, but that's usable. Let's just pour and demold a bunch. I'm really liking how those legs turned out. Whoa. They just exude scraggly louse. I'm gonna give this a heat gun. It might make it more clear. That's a little better. I'm gonna put some chunks of this stuff in there too. I think that looks good. That really makes it look like a lice. Louse. Ooh, I got some Shad Guts color. Let's get some of that in there. There's the kidneys. Oh my. I don't think I mixed the bucket enough. This is some soft plastisol. Like even the body's like bleh. I'll throw it, don't get me wrong. But I need to mix this plastisol better. <laughs> This one's a female. I think this one's gonna put the vibe off pretty strong. That louse vibe. I hope this is thumbnail material. I wanna just make some more obnoxiously colored ones. They'll probably get bit better. Definitely needs the heat gun. I can't see much of that color in there. We most definitely lose the uh, tips of the detail in those legs when you use the heat gun on this louse. It's okay, because it looks like a gummy candy. Large silver flake and monkey milk. That's tantalizing. Red shad. And small bright red flake. I need to vacuum these.
Dude, I'm getting all right with a heat gun and a butter knife. Slipping plastic where it belongs, you know? I was getting it into the claws there. Even got some color variation in the claws up front. Beautiful. I have not had a leg tear off yet, surprisingly. Ooh, that one's clean. There are no bubbles in that one, and that flake on the front is nice. That is just licentious. <laughs> Isn't that an insult? I don't think I'm using that right. Lysidocious? We got red legs, we got bloody guts, we got some holographicness, and last is gonna be that really head lice looking color. This. And we get to do the final demold out here. This, that's definitely the best one. Look at that. It's really good at bobbing around. It wants to roll forward. And the legs jiggle. It's good. Might not even need a bobber. It, it kind of swims on a straight retrieve. What the heck? No, never mind. It was just waving around a little bit. I suppose rigging it backwards makes sense too. Once the other way of rigging it kind of wears out, you know. Different pond. We're gonna see some action at this pond. Will we finally make the first thing of the year official? I just switched my camera to 60 frames per second. I had no idea I had it on 24. I'm sorry, fellas, with that 24 frames a second stuff. What am I thinking? It's official. Sticks like head lice. You know, if this didn't happen to me all the time, I'd probably be pretty demoralized. That video, where I fish with every single bait that I have not caught a fish with yet this winter, is coming. Very soon. It's probably going to take a lot of time to catch a fish on everything. I'll be sure to make time for it. It will happen. It's going to be a piece of cake with the lice lure. Jeez. Could easily be the first thing I catch a fish with. Sorry it didn't work out today. I was trying to make it easy on myself, but nope. Video's over. On to the next bait. Chip, are you a little bit itchy? Are you itching? Oh no. Chip. They're everywhere. They're just falling off of you. Stay. <laughs> Good boy. Touch somebody else's head. Blech. It's a knit stitch. Blech. Don't even take it. Leave it there. There's the kidneys. Getting all right with a heat gun and a butter knife. Frass. Don't get head lice if you got hair. Lysidocious.